That's yeah. exactly what it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's, what... <laughs> That's what Centaurus oh. drink. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You probably drop them in their Halloween candies, don't you? Well, welcome, everybody. Oh. It's Tuesday night, and oh, here we are, ready right. to rock and roll once again. Yep, and Gio is filming this, and uh, I don't know why right. my uh, Abby is walking around the way it is, but that's it. But, you know, Dr. Fran was talking before. I was going to tell this joke, so we'll tell this joke and see what happens. Because Passover, we're still in Passover. Can you all understand what the Passover means, right? Right, okay. Anyhow, <clears throat> Maurice had worked most of his life helping his community, and he was therefore thrilled one morning to hear that the unselfish work had been recognized by Queen Haley, no less. So he decided to bestow uh. on Maurice a knighthood, but his elation tur soon turned to dismay when he realized that the ceremony would take place on the first night of, depending on how you want to say it, Passover. <laughs> you, know, you can say it any way you want, okay? <laughs> What on earth should I do, thought Maurice. Should I attend Seda night with my loving family, or should I accept one of the highest honors of the land, a knighthood? His family soon talked him into going to the palace. The award is too special to turn down, and you would always live to regret it, they told him. His next worry was what to say to the queen. He just couldn't think of anything that would be of interest to her. He just hoped that she would come up with something, on, that he'd come up with something on the day. Come the special day, there was Maurice on his knees, being knighted, with the queen touching his shoulders with her sword, and Maurice shaking with excitement, and all of a sudden he burst out with Manishtona Alea Haza. The queen looked at Prince <laughs> Philip with a surprised expression on his face and said to him, Why is this night any different from any other night? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough of that stuff, all right? But we're going to get to a bunch of that. That's the way it goes. But, you know, I was thinking the other day, you realize that for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, there were really only two drinks, three drinks maybe. There was water, there was beer, and there was wine, right? That was about it, right? Yes. Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere from the 1950s, we were drinking water out of a hose. Then yeah. along came cola, pop, soda, whatever you want to call it, Coke, Pepsi. Then we moved on to the other ones like Dr. Pepper and what have mm -hmm. you. And then we Tab. moved on and we just – what tab right tab. And, and 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 then we moved on to uh and then we had coffee and then and tea and 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 then we moved on from bottled water to spring water to purified water to mineral water to well water to 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 vitamin water to you know and finally we're getting back to tap water you know because we can't afford any more of these waters right <laughs> it's unbelievable but there's all sorts of things soy based beverages called silk Silk, huh. almond milk, and, and there's mm. all sorts of things. Yeah, you got to be very careful buying almond milk because most of them have all sorts of whacked ingredients in them. There's only one or two of them that's really pure. Nearly huh. all of them. If you read the back of them, you'll go, oh, I shouldn't be buying this, you know. But right. here we are. We've been drinking all that stuff and countless amounts of things, you know. We've learned how many teas. Used to be one tea. Used to be Earl Grey. That was it. Used yeah. to be one instant coffee, Sanka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so life has changed, right? Have you noticed your diet's changed all through your life, eating all different foods every few years? There's something new that you know you eat that's supposed to be and all of a sudden, out of after thousands of years of nobody wanting to eat it ever again, along comes quinoa back into the fold. There it is. We thought we'd gotten rid of it. You know? Boy, I'm glad everybody's laughing. This is really funny shit, isn't it? <laughs> 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 and so, then they're you're talking about food. Yeah. So, what do you oh, call yeah. someone who derives pleasure from the bread of affliction? A mozzakist. No uh, way. A <laughs> 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 oh, so, I hear this news on high fidelity. Dr. Fran was talking about that. Mm. Yeah. Does it come with liquid mesh? Yeah. Dr. Fran? Dr. Fran's now talking to I'm sorry, I was book. muted. No, 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 I'm not talking to my boyfriend. <laughs> we I test only you every week now. I, we test you. If we I know. had a boyfriend, no, if I had a boyfriend, I'd be talking to him, but I don't. <laughs> oh, well, anyhow. So we don't have a show tonight, and Dr. Grun is no longer here because he's working on Tuesdays, which is kind of sad. Hello, Miranda. How are you? <laughs> you see now, what Kurt wrote? No, what did Kurt write? I didn't see that. Oh, let me Look. see what Kurt wrote. Why is this thing? This thing is causing me all sorts of problems. From... Oh, and Doc, Doctor oh, Fran, Doctor Fran is dressed as the Phantom in drag. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> Let me see. 
<laughs> well, all righty then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, here's another dumb one. A blind man sitting on a park bench. Rabbi sits down next to him. Rabbi's chomping on a piece of, piece of matzah. Taking pity on the blind man, he breaks off a piece, gives it to him. Several minutes later, the blind man turns, taps the rabbi on the shoulder, and asks, Who wrote this? Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, we haven't had a single Jew laugh at these jokes. This is sad. <laughs> Oh, Haley, are you here? Did you leave? Where'd you go, <laughs> Haley? They're laughing. We're all listening. <laughs> well, don't mute yourself when you laugh. <laughs> no. Uh, are the MITs yeah. raise your hand? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it seems a group of medical people have published data indicating that SATA participants should not partake of both chopped liver and cirrhosis because uh, they say the combination can lead to cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, oh, <laughs> I like chopped liver. Get a taste for chopped liver. You like? I like chopped. I make great chopped liver. I call it oh. pate. Pate. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 It's just not the same. Foie gras. Can you imagine? Like, wow. I mean, come on. It must have been really something. You know, all our ancestors, you know, leaving Egypt, trying to get the hell out to go to the promised land, which other people were living on. <laughs> <laughs> I have always kicked out. Why isn't so nice? No, we kicked out a whole bunch of people. Yeah, we, we kicked sure. them out when we got there. Yeah, do you know what the pro chosen land was? Well, who were living there before, before the Jews showed up? Oh, right. What? The terrorists, exactly. Well done, Dr. <laughs> I know it was the only place in the Middle East that had no oil. Yeah. It was the Canaanites. 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 Yeah. Jericho, remember that? Okay, that was a Everybody good day. Everybody went that along was... except the Amalek. Yeah. Who, who were the Amaleks? They're the bad guys. The bad guys? Are they sort of like, you know, like in the, uh, oh. They're the archetype bad guys. The They're archetype Amalekite. bad guy. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. about the Ammonites? Ammonites, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the New York today said that the New York unit that spied on Muslims has been disbanded. <laughs> 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 Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's that's like the NSA saying, you know, we're not doing it anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah, oh, sorry. yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> anyhow, times in the Ukraine must be pretty tough. That's why we all left that area of the world, right? Yeah. Somewhere along there. So Second Life. So Haley really likes this liquid mesh. She says it fits really well her uh, body. You know, it's like custom over it. Have you bought something, Lauren Haley? Lauren is wearing uh, li liquid Lauren mesh. Lauren is wearing yourself? liquid mesh. That's right. Yeah. Look at everybody should notice. Pants. Doctor Fran, yeah. do you know? Do you know? Do you know how liquid mesh works? Have you studied that yet? Yep. She's gone too, huh? No, okay. she was speaking. Her voice just fell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck. sorry. Um, the only thing I know is the old liquid mesh, liquid mesh worked with the sliders. The new liquid mesh is supposed to work with a new avatar. The avatar has extra bones in it or something. What, what avatar? Is, Our avatar? It has one size, and you don't even have to put on the alpha. You mean you, you mean they updated our avatars? No, nope, you're wrong, Haley. But yes, they updated <laughs> our avatars. Oh, they did. Uh, Yes, I'll let D have the meeting that D we were all updated. It. Does D have your shape? No. Haven't you noticed the quality of what we look like? D doesn't fit into yeah. mesh uh, without a lot of pain in the neck, large size. And I just put it on, and there was a really fat girl who had on the same outfit. She just put it on; it worked perfectly. And she was mm -hmm. fat. It didn't the the uh, the the um, alpha did not make her thin. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, here we are doing a show. Uh, I hope there are a few of you out here like to step up here and put 20 minutes of comedy on the air. <laughs> We've been missing, you know. <laughs> 
we've been missing things along the way, not writing new stuff, but there's some old stuff out there. There's some old stuff. I've gone out and visited some of the old Sims in Second Life, and I have to tell you something. Ones have been around for a while. The uh, mortar in the bricks are beginning to fall out, and they need to be updated. You know, there's a lot of problems out there in Second Life. Well, they need to clean up the mainland. They need to clean up all that crap floating out there. Yeah. That Governor Linden. What? Sim entropy. I like it. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, that Governor Linden, we should just send him over to be like, uh, he could run the Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> send yeah. Doc over to run it all. What? <laughs> send Doc over to run it all. Yeah, right. We'll never see oh, him no, again. we did Doc. We did Doc here. Yeah. Yep. Do you remember trying to make your first chair? Does anybody remember? Did you try to make it? You must have, Catboy. You must have started oh, out trying the, to make stuff, yep, right? Ivory Tower. That's exactly what I started. Tower. First thing I made. With a chair, was, right? Yep, the chair. Yes, I did. Yeah. And I made this stupid little steampunk camera, which I'm embarrassed to say is still my best seller, despite the fact it's my worst build. <laughs> or, 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 or there is a, there is another thought on the planet on this. It could be your yeah. best build, and all the rest of the builds suck, and you just don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the public, the public buying public makes the statement, not the yeah, artist. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah. And I remember way back when. Everybody wanted to give you a T-shirt, and not one of these T-shirts really looked that good. It was the thing everyone would give you, a T-shirt. That was the big deal back in 07. Remember that, 06? Oh, is that the one the thinker is wearing right now? Yeah, that's my. That's <laughs> yeah, that's the first T-shirt from the first show. He wears that. He yes. has to wear that yeah. forever. Yeah, that's an original T. And if you look at it, it's better made than most of the ones that were made in 07. Look at how nice the there's a band around and stuff like that. We okay. don't, but don't look at his belly, okay? But that's that. He was thinner back then. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's taken liquid mesh to a whole new thought process. <laughs> he swallowed it. <laughs> so, uh, so anyhow, uh, other things in Second Life that uh, we have to all enjoy. I noticed that Slink has hands. Now, I don't know if any of you have gone over there to buy those hands, but those hands don't do anything but look pretty. You know, you can't really yeah, they're do for anything. Po people who don't move off their platforms. Yeah, and these slink feet, by the way, don't have any of the things that we really have on the bottom of our feet, like little striations and stuff like that, right? Right? Uh, so yep. they're not very real. No texture but on the bottom. Huh? No texture on the bottom. They should have bottom textured them, don't you think? But, uh, yeah, with lines on your fingers, right? Your palms, right? Palms. Hello, Priscilla. You look lovely, and Priscilla has, has gone with a shorter look. Yes, that's that. Take a look. She's standing right next to Majik. With Argo, and tonight we have uh, tonight. Fortunately, in about 45 minutes, we have somebody who can pick up the slack that's going on around here. And that's uh, <laughs> Voices of Angels. Uh, she's oh, Voices of Angels. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, she's exactly. great. I love her. Have you seen yeah. the new full avatars, full mesh avatars? Yes. No. I have oh, one. Abby Linden had one. Yeah, I'll put yeah, it on. Let's your see. mouth doesn't move, Wasn't though. Was Ebby wearing one? Uh, yeah, he was. Um, it was what hanging was it? Uh, perpendicular to his body, naked, the whole talk for some people. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, that's a problem. Oh, that's that's how the mesh hangs if you can't see <laughs> it, right? told him, the emperor has no clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's very good. That is good. That's you should tell him. You should send him a note. Uh -oh. Have we arrived at a point that I... rendering course finally doesn't mean anything? Is that finally? Are we there now? Um, not really. I made some robotic hands so I could do gestures that the regular hands cannot do. Right. And the the render cost because there's a script in every single knuckle of every single finger of the hand. The mm -hmm. render cost is insanely high. I get kicked out of most things for wearing it. Huh. No, that's not why you get kicked out of The Sims. It's just like your <laughs> first build. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> You're attributing these things to all the wrong reasons, Catboy. <laughs> Indeed, Catboy. Uh, I'll bet you everybody in this room has been kicked out of a Sim at least once, right? Haven't you been kicked out? I remember once going in.
and they said my rendering cost was too high, you know. And they said it was what? What do they say? It, it, it's slowing down the sim or whatever it is, right? We don't so argue. Is the real message? Yeah. So I told the person, I said, well, listen, if you just logged off, you wouldn't notice any lag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But that, that, that's when they threw me out of the sim, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> and I, I just stood, has anybody been over to one of the Dirty Talk sims lately? Anybody stepped not over to check not, out what's going on? I mean, I mean haven't ever. we heard it all at this point, okay? Yeah, I, mean, we've, sure. I mean, come on. What are you going to say? <laughs> yeah. I um, live near a place where there's, well, some of the sims, but they're owned by our adult. And I went over there and I went, this is crap. <laughs> Some of them are yeah. really crappy. Yeah, well, thank God. You know, it keeps them off the regular Sims, and that's a good thing. You know? <laughs> it's just like Sundays. I like people that go to church. It means I can drive around town without getting into traffic. It's really great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. And I'll tell you something, Second Life, though, come on, we all love it, right? And, oh, yeah. and are we all going to end up in high fidelity instead, Dr. Fran? Is that the idea, is to move us from one world to another and close well, this one down? High fidelity uh, solves the no. scaling problem. You can get a 1,000 avatars together. In, in one sim, that's the idea. Although in he one, said yeah, but, Second Life But it means we have to log out of here and go to the other one, right? Yeah. Indeed. And what and happens when we want to get a million avatars together? Well, and I don't here's like where a thousand Debbie avatars, comes into do this. you? Here's where no. Debbie comes in don't and come. supporting... I'm an alpha tester. You're not invited. Are you mm -hmm. testing it? Yeah. Well, How's it going? Uh, steeper learning curve than Second Life. Whenever I'm on, I never. none of the other people are ever on, so I don't get to see them. But the thing that's mm -hmm. really cool is it uses the camera on your computer. I smile, and the avatar smiles. Really? That's sweet. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is lonely <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, look huh. at how cute Bardo is. Oh, come over here, Bardo. You're so cute. <laughs> yeah, sounds lonely. So, anyhow, so you smile. So you have to have a camera now on your computer yeah. as well. But what, working, what computer? Right? Oh, yeah. well, almost every computer has a we camera. We all have one. That's yeah. not the point. Processing power f yeah. from your computer to make it work. Yeah. That's got some ramifications. It's milking yeah. computers. Oh, it's true. a big computer yeah. harvest. Yeah, but that's, that's is that how it works? Gig all over. Yes. Yeah. And that's so they're why working. They're using your computer while you're while you're on. No, yes. while you sleep, yeah, they like use your computer servers. to power an avatar yes. and stuff. So. Your computer. <laughs> so instead of having a server, it's like a instead of adding act, no, adding more um, instead of adding more. And I'm sure it's oh, very no. safe, isn't it? That's got to be oh. really safe. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Really yeah, safe. they're yeah, looking right. it back it, at you wherever your room there are is. There no hackers. <laughs> right. No look, hackers are going to come in. The... <laughs> look. What? Hey, Philip is look. a visionary, and I really I'm, – I'm curious to see what he's, what, you know, he's working on. That's just all I have to say. Yeah, I think oh. it's going to be cool. Yeah. She's one of Philip's girls. And you know – He's a little bit young for me. But you know that. I, mean, <laughs> I love Second Life. There's no way I love it. Uh -huh. But don't you think they'll eventually shut this down and move yeah, everybody there? Yep. Yeah, I can oh, just Phillips? imagine. Yeah. No. Well, 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 Philip's already it. gone, right? So yeah, well, he's, he's trying, but, he's trying to, what. like, steal people from No, no. He no. owns a no, piece no. of the, He owns a big piece of this company. Don't kid yourself. You bet he wouldn't That's give it right. up. It's a money cow. It's a cash cow. Yeah, but Abby yeah. defined it as if Money they were cow. two separate corporations no. that are going to be against one another. They, yeah. That's They're going to charge you a dollar a month for every Abby you have in World and Second Life now. Did you hear oh, that, Oh, no. Haley's going to go broke. What? <laughs> are you serious? I'm just saying. I'm just checking to see no. if Haley's still here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? I said that what? I'm here. here. <laughs> She's just resting. I he was know, baiting I know, you. I know. Yeah, but uh, but it, but then there's going to be a whole new bunch of jokes that we can make in in, in there. I mean, what happens if you grimace and you're meant to smile? <laughs> but but, but, but isn't like, that isn't that like yeah. first life though? Yeah, don't you, you know, yeah I mean, but the yeah. reason we're in second life is so we don't have to be in first life. Do you think I look like this in first well, life? Wait a minute. <laughs> I, <don't think> so. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I have. I know you look like that. You may not. You may not question. sound the same. 
<laughs> so what if that computer program is actually looking at us really in our in our really behind the scenes of the camera as well? Yes. Oh, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen okay. that. I'm in my I pajamas. Mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay. All you naked people out there, raise your hand. I'm not, but all you naked. You realize that somebody's going to be able to figure out how to use that camera when you're looking into it to look at you yeah. and see yes. you where you are. Yes. That definitely is a two-way street, Duh. dum dum. Yeah, yeah, right. You have to do uh, and on hot on days, in order to goodness, be able to what you're sitting in. Gestures yes. Like yes. So if you're doing facial recognition, what does that mean, right? You can't say to somebody, "Look, I'm I'm eating kale." When you're eating pizza, they're gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't say you've lost weight when you're really 400 pounds, right? This is true. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Are you finishing up wow. your taxes now? By the You're way, I want you to know, the apparently anybody, anybody after 6 p.m. who files their taxes, they get an audit this year. But enjoy yourself. Go ahead and have a good time. <laughs> it's too, too late to fix that one. <laughs> yeah. You know that who I don't know how it's going to work elsewhere, but in Second Life, you know if he's, he's not into you very much, you know, if he doesn't log on anymore. You know, you can sort of figure that one out, right? <laughs> well, you run into him and he's wearing a great outfit. <laughs> and you didn't buy right. it for him. <laughs> right. uh, I mean, who bought that's, that? That's... <laughs> who picked that out? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you don't have the taste yeah. to buy that yourself. <laughs> right. I bought it myself. Right. Sure. Liar. <laughs> Liar. My handler, my handler's girlfriend, okay, she never likes his, the way his hair is. So she goes with him to where he gets it cut. And the t he and she and the woman who cuts it stand there talking. So you know what the handler says? <laughs> Listen. I'm a Ken doll. Do whatever you want. Just keep playing. You know, we want to take off some of my clothes. Go ahead, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Want to check out the anatomy? Jeez, it's unbelievable. <clears throat> and, and the other thing is, you know, guys, I've got to tell you something. My handler told me this. This is very good news for you guys. If you're going out with, with a girl and it's like a, you know, second, third date or something like that, and what you want to do is you dress as nice as you can, but leave a little piece of lint or something on your shirt or whatever. And because right. then she touches you and takes it off, and that's a beginning. You know, that's a real step forward, all right? Ooh, so, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you thought, no, nah, that's, that's absolutely. Know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to go there all covered in cat hair. No. Right. That, no. That. no. And again, Catboy, you will come back with a story again saying it was the girl, not the cat here, right? Oh, God. Oh, please. Yeah. So I guess in, uh, in High Fidelity, there'll be no glitch pants, huh? And what about Liquid Mesh has glitch pants that you don't see anything, right? They completely removed all our anatomy. You know, oh, look up there. Wow. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Looks like something that can be on the Knowledge Cat channel. <laughs> Discovery. <laughs> what? What happened to your legs? Just pants. Yeah. So, so, so in High Fidelity, do you have clothes, Dr. Fran? Do you have clothes in High Fidelity? Sorry, and she's I gone. Again. I was muted. No, I was muted. I was brushing You have a feeling that Haley and Dr. Fran are talking Fran, privately. No, no. She's brushing my teeth. Yeah. 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 yeah, listen. Yeah. Do they have clothes yeah. in high fidelity, Dr. Fran? Get back on the care. Sonic care. No. Oh, right. All right. <laughs> They, they, yes. you ha they have clothes, but I don't have any yet because I haven't done anything to my avatar. But, yes, they have. I have a really – I'm going to put a link to a really good video of Phil talking to the Virtual Worlds meetup, and he gives a good demo of, of uh, high oh, fidelity. Oh, good. Good. Okay. Well, I want to see cool. that. Quick question. Do you get Linden's when you – or, well, high fidelity dollars when nope. you come in? World? No, they're, they're creating their own economy. It's way in his plans. He's at yeah. a micro, a micro uh, coin. Whatever. They've got a name for it. It's going to be called the sh shit coin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> called that. Yeah. Well, that was one of the other questions. If you're going to go like Bitcoin, the same thing as the Linden dollar, right? Yeah, Bitcoins are, Bitcoins are going to, uh-huh. 
They're going to take off. They will. They will. They will. They may not go up in value, but they are definitely going to be utilized. Yes. Yeah, because so it just it, it's a it is the it's going to be it's going to drive future. all the financial guys nuts. But that's what's going yes. to happen. It's it's only a matter of time before that happens. Really, uh-huh. it becomes more and more accepted. Uh, that's so correct. Anyway, about the so. started, um, I wish I had invested in Oculus. All right. So anyway, so you know, if link any up. of you have young children, you can just bring them into Second Life and tell them it's like Disneyland, but we don't have to. Travel. <laughs> <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? But we don't have to drive. Yeah. <laughs> Save that link I just posted. That's Philip talking in California. Oh, that's language he uses. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, like, man. like radical. <laughs> I can't That's do like a California a accent if I try. Yeah. Great no, things that little can't. children say, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm a New Yorker and proud. <laughs> One night, Mike's parents overheard this prayer. Now I lay me down to rest and hope to pass tomorrow's test. If I should die before I wake, that's one less test I have to take. <laughs> oh, man, that used to be my prayer. <laughs> and this four-year-old said this, and forgive us our trash baskets as we forgive those who tra- put trash in our baskets. <laughs> During the minister's prayer one Sunday, there was a loud whistle from one of the back pews. Gary's mother was horrified. She pinched him into silence, and after the church, she said, Gary, whatever made you do such a thing? Gary answered soberly, I asked God to teach me to whistle, and he did just then. <laughs> <laughs> you see, kids are great, right? Yeah. Yep. Here's a little boy's prayer. Dear God, please take care of my daddy and my mommy and my sister and my brother and my doggy and me. Oh, and please take care of yourself, God. If anything happens to you, we're going to be in a big mess. <laughs> <laughs> so, so high fidelity. Are they going to have children in there? Are they going to have kids like they had in Second Life? I don't life, know. Gonna... I don't know. No, yeah. no. He said. He said. He said that Philip said that the chi- the teen grid was a was a failure. Is he going to have he pornography could. in High Fidelity? I don't know that you can keep it up. Hi. Well, what do you mean? You can keep guys. it up. It's mostly, <laughs> it's most, sure. it's most, look, look, Lauren, it's mostly geeky guys. How are you going to separate that from pornography? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Point taken? <laughs> so, so, right. <laughs> They're going to have better pose balls, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? You really might be able to use them in real life. With this kind yeah. of technology, right? High fidelity. Yeah, I went down yeah. to Michael's and I got a bunch of those little uh, styrofoam balls. I painted them blue <laughs> and pink. I take them out and I always like to see if anybody else wants to jump on one, you know, throw them around <laughs> on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I went to bank and I said to them, gee whiz, can I cash my paycheck into Linden's? They thought I was nuts, you know. I mean, you'd think they would just relax off of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always great when you actually meet somebody in first life that you didn't know, and they're in second life, and they know about second life. That happens yes. from time to time, uh, and that is rarely. really a kick. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and Kingston, uh, that way. Is that right? <laughs> yep. <clears throat> there ought to be a yeah. secret handshake or something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pink and blue pose balls. Walk around. <laughs> we're, we're earrings What's with a, a pink and blue pose ball <laughs> earrings. Jersey. There you go. <laughs> What's a uh, actually, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. You know, a pink. A what? They got ninja what? Catboy? Catboy, you ready to get up here and do some comedy? Because we have no yeah, show sure. like we never have a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we hey, love all you guys Cat for being Boy. here because this is a show Boy. without a show. Catboy, bring Come on, Catboy. Boy. Yay, Catboy. Hey, you like my dress? Yeah. yeah. For, got it just for this Easter. Comes a little Very clean hat on, so it looks like I'm. Yeah, yeah but you're not, of course. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I live by wisdom. Uh, latest wise thing I heard recently, I love this poster, it was Confucius. It says, Confucius say, male porn stars will only do anal. May at first seem interesting, but turn out to be boring asshole. <laughs> <laughs> No, okay. Uh, anyway, I went to. I want to tell you. I went to. Um, uh, the, the, I went to the, the VWBPE meeting. That was the thing with Philip Rosedale. 
uh, where they were talking about virtual worlds while they were there. London, somebody, I don't know if anyone picked up on this, but someone just announced that London opened a brand new virtual mall. Um, I have no idea if it's going to be connected to Second Life, but they said that, uh, you know, that, well, they'd like to know what sin it's in and how many linens it's going to cost for that little decorated poster that says, Keep Con and Carry On. <laughs> you see, on sale everywhere, yeah. Anyway, uh, tidings. When I attended um, the VWBP, can I just remember the name of the sim? Because saying VWBP is just a real mouthful, even though it is an abbreviation. VWB. Is that the one that keeps sending all the messages? Vir virtual worlds? Boy, I got more yes. messages from them in the last week. Oh, my God. Yeah. That one person has been stopped. Anyhow, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, that gives us an idea of what's the you know, next generation virtual world from High Fidelity uh, with, with Philip Rosedale. And the first thing he talked about was something he called scalability. Yeah. Because uh, we're limited by sims, you know, we can only hold like what, like a hundred. What's what's the what's the largest a sim can hold these days? About a hundred, hundred avatars. Yeah, I can do that. About yes, yeah, around there, top. That's about and, um, sixty. Well, he says that he wants to have sims sixty if they weigh a lot. Fifty three. <laughs> Fifty three safely without crashing. Render well, he, he's how many? Of, sorry. Fifty three safely without crashing. No, but what were you saying, Catboy? How many? Oh, he wants to do thousands. He wants to hold, have Sims that holds literally thousands, like you can have a rock concert in Second Life. Now, this is great news for us because instead of just being ignored by a few dozen people who don't want to show up, we could be weekly ignored by hundreds of people who say we can't make it this week. So we could have 27 people in a Sim that could hold thousands. That's thousands fabulous. Of people. <laughs> Also, he believes that holding a Sims holding thousands of people and having enough detail uh, for what he called, or what we call trims, but he had a different name for it. By the way, if somebody ever finds box cells, to box cells thing, yeah, yeah that I can't cells. pronounce yeah. that. You know, come up with a simpler name for it. Box, 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 yeah. box cells, box cells, yeah, box cells. He wants to build right. a sim that can hold millions of these things and that you could see them from miles away, not just 512 meters. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you could put them, away. you could put, have a big screen in a stadium and, yeah, and yeah. just like television. Yeah. Oh. Just like Snow Crash. <laughs> just like Snow Crash. <laughs> it's just snow like crash. World of Warcraft, right? <laughs> the game well, he believes right? this is possible with a type of processing where the server. Is actually produced by thousands of computers. Whoever's a member, your computer is also a server from your home. Right. Even when you're not online and you're not using it, your computer is serving as a server for whatever Ooh. this world is, high fidelity. And well, so you could suck up your bandwidth limitations while even being on high fidelity. Isn't That's that an interesting <laughs> thought, yes. <laughs> Well, also, it means instead of losing on. a few dozen people when we crash a sim, we could take down hundreds or even thousands of computers. You come home and your stuff. computer is melted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here's oh. my favorite thing that he promoted. Dingo's I love this my idea. Computer. This is going to be great, especially for us in comedy. I love this idea, and that is. Uh, the idea of motion capture technology to enhance how we communicate in the virtual world. He said one of the biggest limitations was the mouse. He's saying if we get rid of that, yes. we can interact by having these really cheap motion capture things. Like Made by InvenSense. Yeah. Or something I like own that stock. Now. That's yeah. a big deal. Okay. Absolutely. But he said, you know, you, you, you won't, it won't be like the you won't have to wear those you know those silly suits that actors wear in the movies for motion capture where they have those little ping pong balls glued mm -hmm. all over right. them. It won't be that. It'll just be a normal camera, and you could just wear your normal clothes, and it'll be fine. And I think this is great because instead of this graceful, mincing little girl posture you see me as now, you'll be able to see me clod hop my way up on stage like a corn fat drunk trying to dress. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'll go over. Yeah. And, and, and wait a minute. <laughs> Usually we're sitting somewhere. And what, how does that work? <laughs> yeah, I know. That camera. Remember that. That yeah, camera. We're gonna have to have like I understand the camera, the but how's the camera? If I'm not walking, <laughs> how am I going to be walking? I don't know. You, you're going to just gonna have, have to walk. Your... Yeah. <laughs> you, you, spend, you spend 15 minutes, you'll be worn out. Hmm. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we'll look, we'll look like Elaine oh, yeah. on Seinfeld. <laughs> Can you imagine going to a club and people are actually dancing in the club the way they would be in real life? Instead of the oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All the guys will be sitting down. Most of the guys. Well, at least now when people say, I, I, you know, I don't want to dance, I can't, it'll be a real excuse instead of something really stupid like put your butt in, for God's sake. Oh, that's funny. You dance so nicely. Oh, my gosh. Okay, uh, that's all the material I've got for that. Well, hey, take another ten minutes on. and don't do anything, okay? Because we yeah, don't have any more material. Great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, I got some other stuff. Such a uh, stuff about Evie. I want to hear about did you, hear, uh, Did anyone hear about uh, the guy, a gentleman in Russia, who was born with the name God Gazarov? His first name is God. Apparently, this is a Russian thing, like, you know, with a lot of Spanish people, the first name is Jesus. They spell it Jesus. Well, there's a Russian name, not very common first name, God Gazarov. Uh, he's named after his grandfather, and he's suing his credit rating company, who said that they refused to give him a credit rating because of his what they thought was his joke first name. And he's <laughs> saying, no, it's his real name. The credit company suggested that Gazarov change his first name. In response to this, he actually changed his middle name to Forsaken. <laughs> Forsaken. <laughs> Oh, here's, a, here's an adorable story. I love this. In Maine, an animal shelter received a shipment of four tons of carrots. They said they were not able to consume them all, so they sent a message out to any other animal shelter that would need them. And what happened was a, trunk, a trucking company donated the carrots, and they said the carrots were bruised, so they're not able to sell them, but they're still fit for consumption. They didn't want to see the carrots go to waste. And the animal shelter doesn't want to see it go away, so they sent out this message, anyone who wants them, come help yourself. Now, in other news, the cartoon mascot for Warner Brothers Studios, Bugs Bunny, has recently gone missing. <laughs> Daffy Duck, the last person to speak to the famous rabbit, said his last time, he last saw Bugs reading about this story on his smartphone. Probably the rabbit disappeared down a burrow hole. Burrowing is last seen heading due east from Albuquerque from along Interstate 40. Anyone sees a rabbit, please call Warner Brothers Studios for a reward. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Okay, now, um, America, um, American Airlines, two of them, have uh, been making the news the past couple of days on Twitter for all the wrong reasons. Has anyone heard about this? No. Okay, this is very no. recent. Now, yesterday, a 14-year-old girl was arrested because she made a joke tweet to American Airways where she said that she was going to make a terrorist attack, and now she's in a lot of trouble. Today, U.S. Airways is making the airlines because someone using their Twitter account replied to a customer service complaint by sending a bunch of pornographic pictures of a lady pleasing herself with a pit, with a little tiny model 777 uh, Boeing airplane. And just this morning, United Airlines announced that they are sacking their entire social media staff for undisclosed reasons. I can't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can get that yeah, right. <laughs> So, I swear, if Twitter, I don't know, but Did if Twitter was around image? in 1980, I swear to you, this is what the movie Airplane would have looked like. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> and that's all I have for tonight, everybody. Well, bravo. Yay. Well done. Oh, well Did done. you guys see the so image? Much. Did you see in U.S. Airways image? Did you see the image? That is really you disgusting. No, I didn't. It was U.S. Airways or United? Which one is it? It was uh, okay, I got them mixed up because they're very similar, like United Airways and U.S. Airways. Like, which one? Which is which? Okay, the one with the 14-year-old girl who got arrested, that was American Airways, where she joked about making a terrorist attack. U.S. Airway is the one that had the pornographic tweets sent out. And United Airlines is mind. the one that just recently fired their entire social media staff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was disgusting. <laughs> I could leave a link. By the way, yeah, put a link in there for him. He wants to All definitely right. go see yeah, that. We'll be hearing from him right. for the rest of the night. All right. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Whoever was sneezing, God bless you. That's very lovely. <laughs> so uh, I wonder what that'll look like in high fidelity. <laughs> oh, my God. 
real. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, did you know, but I don't know how many people know, but quinoa now, some of it is actually kosher for Passover. Did you know that? How many of you knew that? The Orthodox Union recently ruled that certain brands of quinoa are kosher for Passover. How Do about that? <laughs> Does Bain Capital own it? I'm just asking. Sorry. I don't know, but there you go. So, uh, <clears throat> so, so that's where that is. All right. Now let's get on and have some fun. And don't forget, we've got uh, Voices of Angels. And, of course, Sarah is will be singing, too. And we all love her. And that's it, you know. Uh, <clears throat> so... Uh, let's see what we're going to do. Let's go and have some fun with something. We've got to come up with some idea or something, right? I haven't come up with anything. Oh, right, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> oh, no, I already did that one. Can't do that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, anyhow, some businesses in Second Life you may have missed during your stay here, okay? There was classified information, have a problem with solution, need someone to discuss an issue with confidential assured. I'm, I didn't write this. They wrote it, all right? We handle all kinds of SL problems, groups, disputes, land management, IP issues, TOS interpretation. I, I'd like to see that, TOS interpretation. Oh, yeah, I would like that ah. interpretation. <laughs> Partner divorce mediation, that would be good, right? Uh, regulatory issues and special Ooh. land issues, such as acting escrow agent in private island transfers. Your consultation is free of reasonable duration to be determined by our supervising attorney and subject to a conflict check. All Second Life Avatar lawyers are supervised by a real-life lawyer. If a lawyer is not in, please leave a note card with your contact information, and our appointment secretary will get back to you. Those were the old days in Second Life when people really thought this was a real going business, right? <laughs> you remember that? <clears throat> Here's another one called Stilettos. We are a private security investigative firm that provides a wide array of services performed with discretion and efficiency. Unsure about your club staff or your lover? We can take care of that for you. I don't know what they mean by take care of that. What do they do? <laughs> <laughs> Concerned about your neighbors or need some griefers taken out? We can do that. We offer clients security, security testing, transportation. That's interesting, right? Trans well, we'll bring you over to our Anti-griefing, bug sweeping, investigative services, among other duties, come to our uh, stand on the Isle of Faron by the Mead Hall for additional information on our company. We are discreet and effective. Don't you love that? I mean, these are businesses that were running in Second Life. I don't know how many of them you remember all these, all right? Here's one, and they had a monkey as a picture. It's a Second Life counselor. Do you need help with Second Life hardship? Are you lonely? Do you need someone to talk to? Grief counselors have a bad experience in Second Life. This group isn't qualified to offer the best advice. You may have to go to off land line for that, but you'll probably lend a sympathetic ear to your Second Life sob story for, oh, only a thousand Lindens. <laughs> that was a decent bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me see. So, uh, anyhow, let's see. Okay. Oh, put that out. I wish Bubble Papa showed up. So, anyhow, that was, that was Second Life. Yeah, Second Life. <clears throat> and uh, a woman invited some people to dinner. At the table, she turned to her six-year-old daughter and said, Would you like to say the blessing? I wouldn't know what to say, the little girl replied. Just say what you hear mommy say, mother said. The little girl bowed her head and said, Dear Lord, why on earth did I invite all these people to dinner? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Children are great. <laughs> Johnny, oh God, been misbehaved. What? Uh, did you, yeah. Um, there was this video that's been going around of one of everyone else's slides where they showed a bunch of kids that are about 13 and younger what a Sony Walkman was and their reaction to it. Oh, it, really? It, Tell. It is absolutely priceless. I'll find it and try and link it. But the one you're going to love is this little girl takes it and she goes, oh, a phone. Oh, ew. What's this? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> love that that's kid. great. She will that's have you great. dying of laughter. <laughs> and what's, what's funny is with the first Motorola flip phone, we thought, oh, my God, it's better than Star Trek. And now we just right? leave it. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, yeah. that was it. Ooh, that, was, yep. that was Captain Kirk in your hands. I still yeah, exactly. So <clears throat> today, because, of course, 
this Passover, but then there's lots of religions. So I, I like to explain one of the great miracles in the Christian faith. The, that's the loaves and the fish. Now, some of you know this, some of you don't, but I'm going to give you the inside story. You can perform this in Las Vegas if you want. It's not that hard, okay? Uh, and, and you can do this miracle. Very few people. How many people here have ever done a miracle before? Anybody ever done a miracle? Yes. What? Get married? What? No, I have done a miracle. What? So I can't, I can't talk about it, but yes, I have really done a miracle. Okay, you Honestly, have done a miracle. But I everybody knows the miracle. loaves and fish, right? They know that miracle where, where Jesus took you know three loaves of bread and five fish and fed 3,000 people. You all know that, right? Everyone know that mm -hmm. miracle? Okay. Well, here are the facts behind how it's done. First of all, it was done in the Middle East, right? I mean, mm -hmm. Brick will tell, say that, right? Didn't that happen in the Middle East, Brick? Absolutely, all right? It happened in the summer. We know that because that's what it says. And it happened at lunchtime. We know that because it says that too. Therefore, we can surmise the following things. All right? It was about 105 degrees or hotter in the middle of the desert on a hot summer afternoon. And here were 3,000 people that were hungry. And here was Jesus with three loaves and five fish. Now, what nobody told you how to do this trick, and I'm going to tell you, okay, the bread has to be a month old, and so do the fish. So he went over to the first person and said, Oh, my son, eat. And the son said, Oh, my God, it's a miracle. I'm not hungry. Right? That's how you do the freaking yeah. uh, miracle. I taught you how to do a miracle. And nobody laughed at that one. I, Hello, Ailey. How are you? <laughs> uh, all right. So we didn't have much of a show. We got 14 more minutes. We had to make it up as it goes along. Uh... We're losing our audience slowly but that's surely. That's the video we... for the little kids reacted to a Walkman. Oh, that's good. There you go, everyone. And uh, are they still looking for that plane? Did they find that plane yet? I mean, no. they're looking for that plane. It's... CNN. I got news for you. What CNN, a waste of money. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm almost wish Zimmerman would come back so they would change what they're <laughs> talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I, I tell you, I'm so glad I don't get the cable network any longer because this stuff is really crap, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they have they have a TV downstairs in the building that people stand and look at while they wait for the elevator, which I'm not sure <laughs> what that's all. But they, they thought that was very high tech in the building. Now, they actually have more than one TV. They have many, many TVs in this building. I'm not sure what that's about either, but I'm sure High Fidelity would like to get hold of them and use them, right? So I'm Dr. Fine. Fran is a real proponent of this, and if she says she's a proponent, I believe that it's going to be something because she wouldn't just make up stuff. All right? No. Now, yeah. Voices of Angels, I guess, will show up just before because she's doing another show. Is that right, Jamie? Mm -hmm. So I got to try to She was here. She was here. I think she just crashed. She's on her way back. Well, okay. if she gets back early, we can put her on because this has not been very funny tonight, I'm telling you. Uh, Lauren, I got to tell you about the <laughs> yeah. thing with the TV. Did anyone hear what I was amused. Home? Anyone watch Homes on Homes? He's home gone fixes, home. What? Homes on Homes. He's a gentleman that fixes homes. He's on BBC. He's on uh, HGTV. He's on. Uh -huh. Why isn't he in my house? The, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this big, great big guy that fixes homes. And today they showed uh, somebody's dream home, giant mansion. He says there are forty-seven places in this house to watch TV. Now, among the married couple, the gentleman asked without a pause of breath, "So what's wrong with fifty? <laughs> What's wrong with it? You got forty-seven places to watch TV. Well, what was wrong with fifty? <clears throat> exactly. Um, yeah. So here are the best Seder pickup lines. I want you all to know these. Here's let's make this night really different from every other night, from all other nights. Here's another big pickup line. Mm -hmm. What will you do to me for two zuzum? Two zuzum. What is that? A ask Explorer. She'll tell you. Um, What's a girl like you doing at a Seder like this? <laughs> <laughs> That's a more real run. <laughs> I like my matzo thin, like my women. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when Eliza comes, we can make it a threesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hear that horseradish is an aphrodisiac. Never came <laughs> After four cups of Manischewitz, you look like Cindy Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> did, did 
that just say we were in bondage? Uh, I don't know where that came from. <clears throat> You're a 10 in my Haggadah. I'm going to have to search for search you for Komets. 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 Komets, whatever. Komets. Make like your vomit and you'll be fine. All right. How about, <laughs> how about we go relive the darkness plague in my room? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like one of the four sons. Let me show you how wicked I can be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's that's that. That's it. <laughs> I don't have five more minutes. I don't have ten more minutes. We have to make yeah, some stuff up. Voices. Let's go with some stuff. What? Voices of Angels has just arrived. Oh, good. If Tarzan and Jane were Jewish, what would Cheetah be? A fur coat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ah, there we go. That's a whole bunch of. But uh, listen. Oh, look. This Derek Galaxy. Oh, yeah. So, Hi, voices is in the house. It's in the vicinity. Is she? She's in the vicinity. What does that mean? She's here. She's not here. Anyhow. I'm here. I'm here. You here? You want to get up here early because I'm I'm collapsing here, darling. Get up yeah. here. <laughs> Come on, get up here. This this show is like I, I I gotta write some new material. This stuff sucks. You kidding? God almighty. It's horrid. We somehow we get through almost fifty five minutes, fifty minutes of this. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna get off the stage. You cannot get up. I don't care because they're gonna they're gonna throw we got more comedians? Where? No, I mean, normally we have one or two more comedians. I know, but we don't have them this time, which is really getting to be now I gotta start writing new material. So anyhow, so that's the way that goes. But going back to the fun of uh, of Second Life, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Do you remember the Laura. release candidate 1.201219-7779? I thought it was like a, a Star Trek year. <laughs> huh. Somebody's Captain's snoring. Log. You hear somebody Somebody's sleeping? snoring? Great. Ooh, we put somebody no, to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Brick. Maybe Brick. Brick, are you awake? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking of a Second Life board game, B O R E D. <laughs> oh God, yeah, yeah. And I remember riding around. I, I how many of you went to the Second Life birthday parties over the years? And they would have this tram that would take you around, and it would it would yeah. just get stuck between the Sims. Do you remember those those days? That was something yeah. else. You get you get just well. totally. Yeah, or, or you'd get ejected out of it, too, from time to time. And these were the guys who created this freaking world. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I was on a date in First Life once, and it was, it was uh, and all of a sudden, you know, it came time to kiss. And believe it or not, I started looking around for the pose balls. <laughs> 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 Oh my yeah. God! I hear him too. He is snoring. Yeah. Is it Ooh. Brick? Is it Brick? Who is that? Must be, Who's snoring? Must be Brick. Brick, I think. <laughs> I love it. That it, Brick is up. It's can like. We, can we all like try yeah, screaming at the same time? Yeah, it's in the middle of the night. Brick is not on. He's snoring anyhow. Oh, that's really that's yeah. really amazing. Oh, I thought it was Brick. Oh no, I didn't realize he left already. Okay, so. Open the mic and so, see who it 